In this video I'll give you an overview of the internal and external lighting options on our Hawk T1. The internal lighting is controlled via switches and dimmer knobs on the right instrument panel of each cockpit. The panel light switch acts as a master switch controlling electrical power to the integral panel lighting, the dimmer knobs and the map reading lights. Separate dimmer knobs control flood lighting above the port and starboard consoles and instrument panels and the centre instrument panel. Map reading lights are fitted to each side of the cockpit and can be pulled on or off. The rear cockpit has independent lighting controls with the same variety of lighting options as the front cockpit. Cockpits are also equipped with emergency and standby compass lighting for non-normal situations. The external lighting is controlled from the same panel but is only controllable via the front cockpit. Conventional navigation lights are fitted to the wingtips and tail of the aircraft. Less conventional are the anti-collision lights. There are separate controls for the upper and lower fuselage and these can be controlled independently to either red, beacon or white strobe lights. Landing and taxi lights fitted to the nose of the aircraft. Finally, a small indicator light located on the nose gear will illuminate when the aircraft is airborne and the gear is locked down. 